What's up everybody, it's Aboyo3 back at it again with another detail. Check this out. Today we're dealing with a disaster detail. The customer brought it to me because they cannot remove the pet hair problem they had. Every single time they hopped out the car, they came out with hair everywhere. It looked messy, it's not a good presentation. So they called me up to it. I'm gonna take care of it and I'm gonna show you how O3 takes care of the pet hair. Let's go. All right, everybody, I'm set up already. All we're really going to use is this vacuum right here. I use a rigid portable vac. Five gallon, you can get it at Home Depot. Very easy, you know? And of course, you can use this little brush right here. We have a so many brushes too. Yeah, this one to get to the crevices. This will take care of the mostly big white areas. So it's easier and better to use. While we brush it, we're going to vacuum it up. And that's going to speed up our process even way bigger. Let's get to it. All right, man, that customer says she already tried cleaning it. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, yeah, this is not gonna work. My process 100% works. All right, guys, before we get to the, all the vacuum, I like working from top to bottom, making sure I get rid of all this, clean it up, and just leaving the vacuuming at the very end. So right now, we're just gonna make sure we clean it, decontaminate it, and get it ready. So our last step is just the pair. All right, as you can see, right here, I tried picking it up with the, with the vacuum. These hairs don't come out because they're actually stuck with anything that spilled right here. Looks like coffee. So what we, we're going to do is use our sink cleaner. we actually going to break it up, loosen it up, and just pick it up with a vacuum. And not with a towel because uh, our towel is going to get dirty and get more hair into it. And we're just trying to be as careful as possible because this hair gets stuck to everything. So with the sink cleaner, break it up and then pick it up with the vacuum. So I got my towel right here. And we're going to we're actually we're going to put the steamer in there and cover it up because we don't want more trash to blow out everywhere. So we're just trying to be as clean as possible, work efficiently. So cover it up and we're going. Right now, the steam is breaking up all that dried up coffee, whatever it has. And then we're going to come in with our, our vacuum. And check it out. So we were able to get up all the, the pit here and everything and break up all that dried up coffee that was in there. I still need to hit it more to get it really good clean, but just to show you guys real quick, as opposed to trying to hit this with just a vacuum by itself, it's not gonna be able to pick it up because it's actually the coffee, dried up coffee is actually working as a glue to the hair. So we can continue to hit this right there. All right here, everything that just a vacuum will not be able to pick up with the help of the steamer, it actually helps us pick up everything. All right, yeah, the steering wheel is the dirtiest part of the vehicle. You can see all this gunk right here. You, can, you guys can't see it, but there's a lot of gunk behind the wheels because when you be grabbing it, it's the dirtiest part of the car. So you gotta make sure we put on our cleaner right here. And with our steamer, it really helps break down everything. We just come in here and help, help the chemical do its thing. The chemical and the heat will actually help break everything up and this brush just to agitate it. And all you gotta just do is come back and wipe it all down and you'll see all the, all the gunk actually break down. We come with our scrub ninja. Just be careful guys not to leave the steamer close to the material or leave it in one spot for too long because you're going to burn something up and hey, now you know. So don't be saying you didn't know. I already told you. If you guys mess up, you must reevaluate and start listening. <laughs> Y'all do what you want. Guys, I'm gonna show you the power of these tools right here. We got lint roller. We got permission of the customer to use the lint roller for this uh, for this example. So don't be thinking I'm out here grabbing things that, that don't belong to me. All right, I asked for permission. Let's use this. Try to pick everything up. You see that? It's not. This is very sticky though. It's sticky, but the pay hair gets stuck in the fibers of the carpet. And doing just this right here is not gonna help. Let me show you how this works. See this right here? It's a rubber material right here. And it removes the static of the carpet and the hair so this so it stops it from sticking together. And that's what allows me to come in here and it like pick it all up. See this line right here? 
chop it up, boy. For example, this thing right here, that's gonna allow me to fully get in there as much as this one right here. That's gonna pick everything up way much faster. It's about efficiency and just having the right tools in order to make sure that your work it actually works, you know? How else, how else can I say it? Work from top to bottom, because when you're brushing it, everything's gonna be falling down. If I start picking up from down here, and then pick up from right here, hey, I'm gonna be working double. We don't want that, so we gotta make sure we we take in mind and just have common sense, you know? So let's get to it. All right, everybody, we got rid of all the pay here from the seats. Now we're gonna come in with the greaser. We're gonna agitate it with a drill brush. This is soft, so it's not gonna damage any fabric that the seats have. And it's just a safer way, and I feel more confident like that to come in there and work on it. I use Super Clean, because it's cheap, it's efficient, and it has a multi-use to it. And so far, it's been, it's been good to me, you know? The reason why we soak it up is not only for it to use as a chemical to clean, but it actually helps out as a lubricant so we don't come out here and damage the fabric of most seats. Each seat is different. You can use harder bristles, lighter bristles, whatever it is, you just gotta try out and different things that work. If I come in here and I see that it's lifting up fabrics or hurting right here the stitching, then you gotta make sure you move down to a, to a softer one, okay? You just gotta be visual and be careful, cautious with what you're doing. Because if you don't pay attention and you're not cautious, you can actually damage some things and it's not a good look on your company on what you do or whatever. If it's your own car, you know, you don't want to do that to your own car. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Other thing too is be careful with this right here, with this side of the brush. Because if I'm coming right here, this is going to be rubbing and working like a saw. You could rip things up. Actually, you have to use a, a cone. It's rounder. It has to have the plastic on it but we are still gonna be able to get an effective clean with this round one. This manual brush right here, doing it with my hand and making sure to get into the areas where I couldn't hit with this brush since I don't have the cone. If I have the cone, I'll be getting all in there, right? All in there, but since I don't have it, I gotta make sure I improvise and use this one right here, making sure I get every single part of this seat so every, the whole seat gets clean and not just some parts. That's another thing too, I like putting the deod deodorizer into my extractor water you can actually spray it when you're drill when you're drilling. You can spray it to help out more of lubrication and more cleaning. So in case you're dealing with stinky cars, like in this situation, it smells like dog in here and it's actually penetrated. I don't know what it did, the dog piss or whatever it did, I don't know. But it has a certain smell. So I use deodorizer to kill that smell while it gets into the fibers of the seats and it sucks it back up, making sure we get rid of the smell, the stains, anything. It's basically doing everything at once. So let's get to it. So, extraction is done on the seats. Now I like coming in with the steamer real quick and mopping everything up, making sure we pick up any last things that was left that the extractor couldn't pull out and uh, kill any last bacteria, any last smells into the seats. And it just adds like a very nice vibrant uh, touch to the, to the seats and it's 100% clean now. All we are gonna do is just make sure we have this wrapped up and come in here and mop it up. Now the seats are ready to go. Any any last thing like this thing right here, you see right here that the extractor can not pull out. We spot check it, pick it up, but we're not gonna know until the seats start drying up and any last thing is gonna rise up. And we come again with a steamer, mop it back up. Don't add no more chemical. Don't add no more water into it because you want the seats to dry up. The steamer will take care of it. You see this right here? Come with the, with the steamer. As I'm hitting that certain spot, I spray it out to stop heating in one certain spot. Because if you if you leave a steamer right there in one spot, you can actually burn a hole into the fabric and we don't want to do that, okay? So when you're hitting it, spread out to spread out the heat 
And look at that, no more stain. That's exactly what I'm talking about. With the steamer, it actually helps it pick up and the stain's like right there on the towel because it picked it up. So let's move on to the next thing. This seat was very caked up with a lot of dirt. And that's the thing with these black seats. Sometimes you can't see it from afar, but from a detailer eye, you can see like every little, little, little stain right there, little gunk, but we removed it with extracting. Then we steamed it up, making sure we kill all the germs and any gunk left into the seats. We're gonna come in with a vacuum, making sure we remove as much water as we can. It's wet right now, so I already hit it with my extracted dry. No more adding, no more water, no more chemical in it. Making sure we pick up as much water as we can. And I'm gonna hit it with my vacuum to make sure we get the last thing, cause this thing is very powerful and it sucks up everything, any last thing left that the extractor couldn't remove. All right, everybody. So the seats are done, carpets are done, clean, extracted, disinfected all the above so we turn off the heat making sure the car dries up while we hit the exterior of the car we're gonna hit the rims tires wheel wells paint windows everything all of the above so while we're hitting the exterior inside is drying so when the customer leaves they don't leave with a wet butt so let's get to it all right everybody so as you can see i took care of the pet hair we took care of the seats we took care of the plastics everything like that um the little rubber brushes weren't working well, so we brought in our, our stiff brushes, get really there, all that trash, really into detail into the carpets. And as you can see, we did a pretty good job, you already know. Also, we gave it a, an exterior wash, waxed it, everything like that, took care of the rims, tires. It's literally a brand new car. Door jams, all new, all new, all new, all good to go, you already know. Also guys, I think that really helps out too, is spraying the carpet with water or my carpet cleaner or even a little degreaser as well so it can help loosen up all the dirt and pet hair and everything like that so it's an easier vacuum as well but either way guys i'm o3 from multi lux detailing any questions anything like that please make sure to comment down below also subscribe because i'm gonna be bringing out some more banger videos you already know but until next time see you guys